Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the end of August. So August 15th through the 31st. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, this is just a message from my guides. Um, and keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so the day that you watch it, it might not resonate. A lot of people don't realize that. Timing is absolutely, positively fluid. I had a reading done by a woman two years ago. And just, and it, I had asked her about three months. And she gave it to me, didn't come true. I was like, whatever. So then, um, this year, at the same time frame that I asked, it was weird, that's when it came true. So two years later. But I'm not saying this is going to be two years later, but I'm just saying that's, that's just an example of the timing is fluid. But this is geared for August 15th through the 31st. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Scorpio? Yin and Yang. So, what's this? This is opposites attract. This is... You know, perhaps finding your divine partner or coming together with your divine partner or even calling in your soulmate. So you do have somebody. You have a perfect match, whether you're with them now or not. There is a perfect match out there. You may have to manifest it. You may have to, you know, be open to something that is completely opposite of what you have always known. This person, if you are single, is 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 opposite of you they are opposite they are completely opposite could be taurus okay because they're op that just came to me could be a taurus doesn't have to be but you know you do have a perfect match we have the two and the two this is about a union coming together with somebody um but then again you know the timing is fluid. it's funny that i said that to you i don't say it on every reading but i did for you guys the time it could be two years Maybe it's too, I, and I know nobody wants to hear that, but, you know, maybe you've been single for two years. You know, two years is, is prominent here. I said it at the beginning, and now we have these twos, so who knows, who knows, but we have a connection here that is, it's perfect but it may not seem perfect okay if it hasn't come into your life it's probably it's probably going to come soon uh, it could come into it could come in two years if you've just become single maybe you need to work on yourself you know maybe you need to com complete you before they, they they can bring you your match okay that's just a message somebody needs to hear um but this is about union it's about opposites attract um, for a lot of you, this does have to do with the Taurus because Taurus is the opposite on your, you know, the Zodiac wheel. This is you complete me. What do we have? Shine. It is reversed. I am going to have to keep it reversed just because it's, because if I, I do, it's just the way it goes. This is the sun card. Even the sun card reversed is good. This is happiness. There's a lack of growth here. There's a lack of growth. There may be a lack of excitement. You may not see it. You may be feeling unhappy. You may be going through a period of sadness. Maybe because of your, you know, where's, where's my match? Where's my match? There could be some opposition. Maybe there's some opposition in your current relationship. If you're really, if you're in a relationship now, and maybe you're you're wondering if this is your match. We have a match here. We do, but there's some element of unhappiness. Maybe maybe things aren't growing the way they should, or you don't think they are, but they really are. Either way, happiness is here or it's coming because even in the reversed. 
the sun card is is very you know it's a very happy ending okay the lovers card on the bottom of the deck so this is unexpected but the, and this, this is funny because with the lovers card you know this person um they don't fit the description they don't fit you could be dealing with a gemini you could be dealing with a leo or you were dealing with a leo i don't know but this right here it doesn't fit the description they're they're it's it's unexpected. They may not be your usual type. This is an unexpected choice in love. Okay, this is an opportunity to heal. Love heals. This is probably a soulmate. Okay, we have a soulmate connection here. But this person is not your usual type. They don't fit the description. And that is a message that you need to hear. They're not what you're used to. They may not look like you're used to. Be open. Be open to, you know the opposition they're not anything like anybody that you have dealt with before okay they're not somebody that you're use that you would usually go for but this is an opportunity for a soulmate connection um this is a choice as well so apparently you have to make some sort of choice and be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice if you are holding on to an unhappy situation because it looks good because you don't want to deal with opposition well there's consequences for that you could be missing out on an opportunity for a soulmate connection so keep that in mind. We do have a soulmate connection, but here, but you're going to have to reevaluate probably I keep feeling like the description. Reevaluate the standards. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have high standards. We should all have high standards, but Make sure that you are not choosing somebody based on their looks, okay? I don't know where that's coming from. Um, this is a soulmate. We do have a soulmate connection here. There, we absolutely do have a soulmate connection here. Um, but there's a feeling of, of sadness, you know? Now, that lover's card is a card of choice, it's a, it's a card of contract as well. So somebody could be in an unhappy contract or they may be reluctant to get in a contract with somebody. Keep an open mind. Oh my God, this is it. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's a clear message for you, Scorpio. This is a very clear message for you. Your soulmate does not fit the description that you are used to. Make sure that you are looking outside the box because the person that completes you isn't, you know, they don't, they're not your usual type. They're not your usual type. And you may be put off by that. And that could cause, there could be consequences because this is a card of consequences. It really is. So make sure that you are being open-minded. Be very open-minded. I feel as though... I wanted to jump. Letting go of the past hurts. That's what this is. Starting to heal. This is an opportunity to heal. This person that is coming into your life can help you to heal. This is releasing pain. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to leave the past judgments behind. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords. You guys are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini by the looks of things. That's the way I feel. Um, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be either one, but... Whew, right around the corner, there's a loss of stability. Oh, maybe somebody is moving out of the home. I'm just going with whatever I see. This is like a dying dream. You may feel like a dream is dying. This is a new perspective. You need to you need to look outside the box. Again, a new perspective. You need to be open-minded. This is somebody who is very stubborn, set in their ways. So you're going to have to get unset, okay? 
have an open perspective. And I know that a lot of people don't, I'm not changing a thing. Well, then there's consequences for that. Then there's no, there's no comfortable home life. There's no happily ever after if you don't change your perspective. If you want happily ever after, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone and you're going to have to be open-minded. You have a new partner here, a new opportunity, a new exciting opportunity. But we have somebody here that is very self-centered, somebody that is very ruthless and unreasonable. <laughs> Avoiding challenge. Nine of Wands reversed. Great personal fear. Distrustful. Your challenge is accepting this new opportunity. You have a new partner here. A new exciting opportunity that could grow. But you're going to have to let go of your past hurts. You're going to have to open up. You're going to have to let go of control. Ooh, I think there's fearful. There's fear of being cheated. There's fear of deception. Things. There's been some chaos or there is some chaos in your life. There's an indecision here. What do I want? Where am I going? What do I do? It's time for you to make a final decision. This is a final decision. And this is also a contract. So we have somebody here that needs to make a decision in regards to some sort of contract it's like there's an opportunity for a new contract here if you can let go of the past and I know that a lot of people don't want to hear that oh I've already let go of the past well the cards don't lie okay so is somebody here is avoiding getting into a solid relationship they're avoiding it. You know, there's a lot of, um, I'm not very flexible. I'm not very adaptable. We have somebody here that is stubborn as hell, set in their ways. Very, very stubborn, needing to be more open-minded. It's like you're cheating yourself of passion. You're cheating yourself of happiness. There's an opportunity to, you know, this right here is in your approach power. Be honest with yourself. Make a decision and stick to it. Do what's right for you. I think that you guys have this heavy weight. You, you're being weighed down by some sort of indecision about, you know, accepting somebody who doesn't fit the description. It's like you have somebody here, you do. But the stubbornness, the, you know, the unreasonable approach could hinder your ability to come together with somebody that is absolutely perfect for you. I feel like, you know, this, there's not a lot of flexibility here. There's not a lot of flexibility. There's avoidance. There's, um, trying to protect yourself. And you may be trying to protect yourself subconsciously. You could be worried about what everybody else is going to think. The King of Wands reverse is very based on society. You know, what is everybody else going to think? doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. It's a ma it, What matters is your own happiness. What matters is a soulmate connection. It's a, What matters is, is, is what's on the inside. It's how you feel when you're around this person. It's how this person makes you feel at ease. That's what matters. So, I feel like... You know, for some of you, you are avoiding, you know, moving on from an old relationship. You may be avoiding, you know, moving the Ten of Pentacles reversed. You need to hold your head up high. You need to get moving. You need to find the confidence to face your fears. You need to sever ties with somebody. You need to... Um, accept change. I see we have somebody here that's definitely letting, letting ego get in the way. The Five of Swords is an ego card. You know, unwilling to, you know, sever ties with somebody. Maybe you need to move. Maybe you really need to move. It's like there's indecision about moving. I feel like you need to, you know, stop holding on to a dead end. We got somebody here that is holding on to a dead end. 
Um, it's getting old. It's time to live again. It's time to get moving. It's time for a transformation. It's time to master your emotions, get in your vehicle, and get the hell out of there wherever it is. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to put your, get yourself back, get your life back in control. Find your inner strength to master your emotions. Do the right thing for you. Be open-minded. It's it feels like you're really, really struggle, struggling to sever ties with somebody that you lived with or maybe that you live with. I think that it's time for you to do the right thing for you. Take the noble approach. I feel like you ha are a warrior of some sort and you have the ability to, you know, go get out. Get, that's what I see. Get out of this. I feel like you're being cheated. You're being, maybe you're being cheated on by somebody, you know, and I feel like you, it's time for you to listen, listen to your inner guide, listen to your intuition. I think that you know that there's some deception. I think that maybe some of you may be in some sort of contract. Obviously, I think I said, I can't even remember what I said at the beginning now. But there's some sort of contract here. I think that you need to get out of this contract. I think that you know that. I think you have a better opportunity waiting for you. But you're you're grieving, and I, and I don't I don't see, need the five of cups to see that. I think you're grieving the loss of some sort of relationship that was happy at one time. You need to find your your inner strength to master your emotions and and move. You know, you need to move. I think that you are very intuitive. I think that you know that this is a dead end. I feel like some we got somebody here that is is very very stubbornly, very stubbornly holding on to something that has brought them a lot of chaos. It's brought them a lot of upheaval. There's been a lot of struggles. There's been a lot of conflict. I feel like you've been defeated. Maybe you're feeling defeated. I feel like a person may have defeated you, you know, um it's time for a change. It's time for you to let go of this false sense of security. You know exactly what it is. I think there is going to be a, a change of course here pretty damn quick. I think that things are about to um, come unglued and somebody is about to move. I think that this, this false... Uh, sense of security wherever you've been wherever you've been staying is is not meant to be I think it's time for you to move it's time for you to go Maybe this could have to do with your some kind of structure some sort of foundation could be even your body there's a major change needed you are being weighed down by something that no longer serves you and I think that you know this I think that there's deception there's lies there's cheating. There's something that you are holding on to. It's a dead end and you need to, you know, get real, wake up, speak your truth and get the hell out of there. I think you have a new love connection here that is meant to be. This person does not fit the description, but I think that you should go for it. It could really, really grow into something solid. It could. You could grow into something. It's very passionate. There's a passionate opportunity here for you. But this person doesn't fit the description. Your soulmate differs from your usual type and expectations. I think this person that is coming in, this person has a lot of life experience. This person is noble. This person is true. But you have to accept change and let this person in. And that's what I got. Good luck.